Okay, hi everyone. Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. Alright, so in this video, I'm going to explain uh, for chapter 5, state of matter, uh, which is for liquid and solid. So this is uh, part 3 for our discussion tutorial 5.0. Okay, so first, uh, question number 9, uh, describe the properties of liquid. Okay, so uh, as I mentioned earlier, for this topic, kita akan tengok untuk uh, solid and liquid. Okay, the question solid, they start from, uh, it start from question number 9. Okay, alright. So, apakah ciri-ciri uh, ataupun uh, properties of liquid? So, the first one, it is uh, compressibility. Okay, so compressibility is uh, keboleh mampatan. Okay, liquid is nearly incompressible. Okay, hampir tidak boleh dimampatkan. This is because uh, there are very little empty space between the molecules. Thus, uh, it will resist apply external force. Okay, jadi dia uh, hampir tidak boleh dimampatkan. Okay, then the uh, number two, the properties of liquid is the surface tension. So surface tension is a measure of inward force that must be overcome to expand expand the surface area of a liquid. So uh, liquid surface tend to have the smallest possible area due to the surface tension. Okay. Uh, surface tension is tegangan permukaan. Okay, right. So the next part is uh, viscosity. Okay, number three is viscosity. So viscosity or kelikatan. Okay, so surface tension is tegangan permukaan. Okay. Okay, and then viscosity is kelikatan. Right. So. Um, Liquid tends to resist flow, okay, to menahan aliran. So they increase with strength of intermolecular force, okay, but it will decrease with temperature. So uh, viscosity dia akan meningkat apabila daya di antara molekul semakin meningkat. Tapi dia akan menurun as the temperature will increase. So it will decrease when the temperature increase, okay. Dia, uh, so dia panas, jadi dia kurang likat. Eh? Alright, so Number four is volume and shape. So volume and shape, okay, uh, isi padu dan bentuk. So liquid retains its volume but not its shape. Liquid akan mengekalkan isi padu tetapi dia tidak mengekalkan bentuk. So this is because the intermolecular attractions are strong enough just to hold the molecule close together but not strong enough to hold the molecules in a fixed position. Jadi dia tak boleh pegang uh, liquid molecule di dalam a fixed position. Alright, so that's for uh, number four. Okay, then the next one is okay. Properties of liquid is diffusion. So diffusion, uh, liquid diffuses much slower than gas. Okay, the kurang, okay, kurang meresap. Eh? This is diffuse. Okay, compared to gas, but faster than solid. Okay. In liquid particles, liquid in liquid particles are close together but can move randomly in 3D space. Okay, right. So this is uh, the properties of liquid. Okay, next uh, question number nine B. So based on kinetic molecular theory, I explain vaporization and condensation process. Alright, so what is condensation and what is vaporization process? Okay, right. so vaporization is okay the process in which liquid particles okay gain sufficient energy and escape from the liquid surface, thus it enter the gas phase. Jadi daripada apa ni? Daripada keadaan liquid dia bertukar kepada keadaan gas. Okay. Because they mempunyai tenaga yang mencukupi. So, molecules in a liquid move quite freely. Yeah, dia akan bergerak dengan hampir bebas. So, each molecule possesses a different magnitude of kinetic energy. Jadi, dia mempunyai kinetic energy yang berbeza. So, some molecules have a relatively high kinetic energy. Dia mempunyai tenaga yang tinggi. Okay, right. 
Jadi molecule in rapid motion dalam pergerakan yang uh, sangat cepat uh, rapid motion it will collide with one another. Dia akan berlanggar di antara satu sama lain. So each collision involves the transfer of energy within molecules. Setiap pelanggaran molekul ini dia akan melibatkan apa? Pemindahan energy. Okay. So molekul satu pergi molekul dua. Bila dia collide, okay. Bila dia berlanggar, dia akan transfer the energy between the molecules. Okay. So some molecule will have sufficient energy to overcome the attraction forces that bind them. Thus, the molecule loosen themselves and be, be evaporated off. Okay, bila dia akan terbebas, okay, sebagai warp, eh, vapor. Okay, next, condensation. So, condensation is a process when a gas changes into a liquid phase. It occur when the temperature of gas is lower and the kinetic energy of the gas molecule decreases. Okay, so, bila dia, uh, kinetic energy dia berkurangan, gas molecule dia akan bergerak dengan perlahan dan lebih rapat. So the gas condenses into a liquid when the kinetic energy of the gas molecules cannot overcome the intermolecular forces between the molecules. Okey. Jadi dia tak boleh nak mengatasi apa daya di antara molecule. Okey. Alright. So that's for question number 9. A and B. So define the term vapor pressure and boiling point. Vapor pressure is the pressures exerted by a vapor okay, yang dikenakan oleh vapor over its liquid in equilibrium in a closed container. So, vapor pressure berlaku sekiranya okay, dia berlaku di dalam closed container. So, boiling point is the temperature at which the vapor pressure of the liquid is equal to the atmospheric external pressure. Okay, so, maksudnya dia Uh, suhu di mana tekanan wap sesuatu liquid bersamaan dengan tekanan atmosfera sekeliling. Okay, alright. Next, kita pergi kepada question number 10 B. Based on table 2, okay, we have compound propane, ethanol, dimethyl ether. Arrange the compound in order of increasing strength of intermolecular forces and explain your answer. So, number 2, which of the following molecule will have the highest vapor pressure. Alright, so now first we answer question B1. Nah. Tusunan, okay, the lowest is from propene increasing to dimethyl ether and the highest is ethanol. Okay, so the propane molecule is CH3, CH2, CH3. Okay, for dimethyl ether, CH3, Sorry, CH3O CH3 while ethanol is CH3 CH2OH ok, so you boleh nampak dekat sini dia ada OH yang ini dia tiada O dengan CH jadi dia ini no ok, dia tiada hydrogen bonding so ini lagi lah, dia tiada oxygen jadi that's why dia mempunyai boiling point yang paling rendah sorry, in increasing strength of intermolecular forces ok, propane experience a weak van wall forces jadi propane dia tiada apa-apa dia cuma ada weak van wall forces which is London forces next, dimethyl ether possesses dipole-dipole forces because dia polar molecule ok, tetapi dia tiada hydrogen bond while ethanol has strong hydrogen bond actually ethanol dia ada tiga-tiga dia ada uh, yang paling penting hydrogen bond, of course yang kedua, dipole-dipole And yang ketiga, dia ada London forces. Okay. Right. So, more energy is needed to overcome the strong hydrogen bond compared to the dipole-dipole forces and weak bond walls forces. Thus, ethanol has the highest boiling point and propane has the lowest boiling point. Okay, next. Uh, question 3, 2. Okay. Which of the following compound has the highest vapor pressure and explain. Okay, so kita ada tiga tadi. We have three. We have propane. Okay, kita ada propane. We have propane. Okay, CH3, CH2, CH3, dimethyl ethane, 
and ethanol CH3, CH2, OH okay. so di antara ketiga-tiga ni daya yang paling lemah adalah di dalam propane ok, jadi propane has the highest vapor pressure kerana apa? since propane dia cuma ada weak van der Waals forces iaitu London forces a very small energy is required to overcome okay, the, wall force, the van der Waals forces hence it possesses the lowest boiling point and the highest vapor pressure okay, sorry, this one is a spelling error eh? van der Waals forces ok, alright so next, kita pergi kepada question 11 Differentiate between amorphous and crystalline solids. So, kita boleh bahagi kepada dua, okay? Crystalline and amorphous. So, amorphous uh, and crystalline ialah jenis-jenis solid lah, okay? Right. So, crystalline, dia mempunyai well-defined shape, bentuk yang uh, tetap, okay? Well-defined. Okay, manakala for amorphous, particle are randomly arranged and have no well-defined shape. Next, crystalline has is formed when saturated liquid is cool slowly. Disejukkan secara perlahan. Okay, right. While amorphous is formed when saturated liquid is cool rapidly dengan cepat. Okay. Next, solids mempunyai uh, crystalline solid have a sharp and well defined melting and boiling point. Okay, melting and boiling point for crystalline tetap, maksudnya dia tiada perubahan ok, while untuk amorphous no definite melting and boiling point, so this is the the the, question, the example ok, we have sugar and ice amorphous we have glass and rubber, ok alright, so next one is the example for each of the following crystalline solids, so for metallic, we have sodium aluminium and calcium ok for ionic compound, sodium chloride, magnesium oxide. Next is molecular covalent. So molecular covalent, uh, I take the example here as uh, for ice, okay, ice solid, uh, H2O ataupun dry ice, okay, ice kering. Uh. And then the last one, for giant covalent, we just put diamond. Okay, alright, so I think that's all for uh, chapter solid and liquid part 3. So, see you again in the next video. Okay, bye.